up, everybody? How are we doing this afternoon? We got several breaks already pre-filled and quite a few very close to getting filled. So that'll be uh, a very, very good start to the day. So just so you guys know, the premiere is sold out. The Saturday mixer is down to four, Synergy five, Artifact six, um, Superlative four. We are rolling along quite nicely. So again, uh, Premiere will be the first one because obviously that was the first one filled. And then we'll go from there. Hopefully everyone's having a good day today. Hopefully everyone's having a good day. A lot of hockey games, a big trade happened in hockey. Pretty big trade. Line A is now a jacket. What is up, Vendor? How you doing, sir? All right, so I'm getting the randoms ready right now for Premiere, and then we'll uh, slowly but surely chug along for the rest of the night. Fifteen twenty. All right, so Premiere will be the first break, as stated, and then we'll uh, slowly but surely crush all the other breaks.
All right, so let's keep chipping away at the other brakes. Slowly but surely. Let's chip away at them. Monster's been launched, by the way, for tomorrow, so getting a nice early start on that one. So 13,520. Is going to be the first break. I'm just going to get that one written up here. Kablam. It was one of those afternoons, eh? Saturday afternoon. Apparently, it's just me and Van Dirk. So I'm going to do the randoms right now for 13,520. Give me one second. There you go. Here we go, 13,520. One, two, three. Copy, paste. One, two, three. Copy, paste. Snow's got Florida, Fergie, Columbus, hockey fans got LA. Cruiser, Colorado, Kmar, Washington, Nick's got Boston, Cruiser, Toronto, Nick's got Vancouver, Rob's got Rangers, Money's got Winnipeg, Cruiser's got Chicago, Nick, Montreal, Snow, Anaheim, Orcard, Philly, Kmar, Calgary, Pittsburgh, Snow, Ottawa, Islanders, Hockey Fan, Ed Money, Nick's got Dallas, Whitetail, Carolina, Money's got Detroit, Cruiser's got St. Louis, Whitetail, Tampa, Rob's got New Jersey, or San Jose, Fergie, Arizona, Kmar in Nashville, Buffalo in Minnesota goes to Money Maker. So we'll start the break. You're here. Woohoo! Yeah, Saturdays are generally a quiet chat day. It's a fun break day, but a quiet chat day. It's a little early for a lot of people. But we got three left in the Saturday mix, three left in Synergy, four left in Artifacts, four left in Superlative. Here's the remaining breaks, just so you guys know. So the good news is, uh,. A lot of the breaks are going to go, and uh, we're going to have some fun today. Open some good stuff. Afternoon hockey as well. Some crazy trades. I I'm guessing Line A and Dubois have to quarantine. Is that correct? For 14 days or whatever?
guessing. Oh yeah, Vin. Line A and uh, Ross Liebeck are uh, are now uh, Columbus Blue Jackets. It actually surprised me. I'm not gonna lie. I, I, I actually thought uh, I thought that was a lot to give up. Yeah, I think that's a great deal. On I thought that was a phenomenal deal for them. The funny thing is, too, it makes you wonder. The only thing that I think about is it makes you wonder if if Line A is maybe not the greatest guy in the change room. And the only reason I say that, and I'm not saying I actually agree with it. The only reason I say that is you would think with the Dubois, Dubois situation that you basically have Columbus by the balls because right now they have a player that pretty much does not want to be there, not trying very hard. It makes you wonder like, why they gave up so much to get Dubois. I feel, I don't know, it's crazy to me. That is a crazy deal. I, I, I think Columbus is absolutely phenomenal in that deal. Yeah. I I am curious, as you said, about uh, how he's going to clash with Tortorella. I, I, that is going to be interesting. Now, here's the other thing. Maybe they plan on getting rid of Tortorella soon. <laughs> For all we know, maybe that is in their plans, the GM's plans. <laughs> uh, that's funny. One of our guys texted me. He's that was so funny. Yeah, better situation though. Finish GM in Columbus. I think that also makes him a lot more comfortable. So I that'll be interesting how this plays out. And who knows, maybe Dubois is gonna light it up now, right? Maybe he's uh He'll be in a happier situation. He maybe is only giving like 50% of his effort. So who knows how that's going to be. Yeah, it could be. All right, so ladies and gentlemen, let's start the premiere and then we'll move on to the next boxes. So good luck. Premiere goes first. Best of luck. 
Here we go, starting off CNC break number 13,520, the multi-year premiere. One of the best value deals that we're doing right now, in my opinion. With the value you can get out of these, who knows? We've got for the Panthers, Roberto Luongo, 399. Base. For the Maple Leafs, William Nylander, 199. William Nylander. <laughs> That's sick. That's a sick looking card. Number to 25, gold rookie patch auto, Zach Wierenski. Gold rookie patch auto, Zach Wierenski. Sexy. Four, wow, nice pack. Number to 25 for the Calgary Flames. Yuri Hoodler. Autograph. Yuri Hoodler. For the Nashville Predators. Signature booklets. Roman Yossi. Roman Yossi. We've got for the blue. Oh, no. The Winnipeg Jets. Patrick Laine. <laughs> Patrick Laine for the Jets. And we've got for the Islanders. Matthew Barzel. Nice uh, solid pack all around. Is that arguably one of the biggest trades by uh, by draft position in a long time? When was the last time we had a trade that involved number two and number three? I feel that's pretty damn big. And pretty damn rare. We've got for the Boston Bruins, Colin Miller. Colin Miller. And like, not bad picks, not busts either. 399, Jared McCann. Like, obviously, Yakupov getting traded. But that's, he, was, he didn't turn out very well. For the Anaheim Ducks, Ryan Kessler. I think it feels way bigger than Druan and Sergachev. My personal opinion. For the LA Kings, Spectrum Rookie Patch Auto to 65, Derek Forbort. Derek Forbort. Sick. We've got number one of 15 Mega Stick Trios, Gilmore Salming Lanny. Mega Stick Trios. Filthy. For the Buffalo Sabres, Linus Olmark. Signatures. And we've got for the Blue Jackets, Josh Anderson. There we go. I'm not going to lie, I actually completely forgot Josh Anderson was a uh, just a rookie auto in this. I wonder if that card's uh, valuing up nicely.
right. Well, these uh, these multi premieres always seem to deliver something pretty damn cool every single time. So we've been, I would say, lucky on that, but I'm happy on it for sure. I'm happy that they provide. see where we're at now folks so two left in artifacts two left in synergy three left in the saturday mix whatever you guys wish to get going let me know allure is not next week no allure is gonna get pushed back So whatever one you guys want to go next, I'm more than happy. Artifacts and uh, Synergy are down to two. The mix is down to three. Whichever one you guys want to go first, I'm more than happy. Van Dirk, I would not be too worried. I would not be too worried about uh, Lurigan getting pushed back. It might mean some other stuff's getting pushed forward. So, might not be a bad problem. Just throwing that out there. So, it looks like Synergy's are our next go-to. I, I don't know, Van Dirk. I'm just saying it is possible if those are getting delayed, something else might be going forward. So, I don't know. I guess we'll have to see, right? You guys lost your synergies? Beautiful. Be e a useful. <laughs> I was actually messaging him this morning, Golden, and actually messaging him now too. He says I think he just responded to me like I guess I'm now a Dubois collector. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, that'd be interesting. He's taking it in stride, which is good. All right, so I'm gonna get the randoms ready for synergy, folks. Poor guy. Yeah, that's always a tough one, I said. When you have a, a, either a PC or something of a guy that you really like, it was always tough in sports. So 514, we're about to get uh, the randoms ready for that. 
Then we'll grab some yogurt. Why it's tough to collect a player on your team, to be completely honest, because even for me, like, I always fear, like, what if Matthews leaves? Like, I, obviously, I like him as a player, and that's my PC, but it would just kind of suck if he left. Don't know if I'd still collect him, because to me, it doesn't bother me too, too much, because I only did rookie year, and all rookie year stuff sleeps, so it's not end of the world for me. 13,514, everything three times. One, two, three. Copy paste. One, two, three. Copy paste. No hands, Ed Money, Percy Washington, Daniels got Ottawa. Thad Montreal, Mike Tampa, Flyers Detroit, Fergie Islanders, Tim Allen Dallas, G the North has Anaheim, Sponge has Pittsburgh, Maury's got Toronto, Beats Calgary, My Hockey Mike Carolina, Mountain Man Rangers, Chris B's got LA. Sammy's got Colorado, Burbs got Vancouver, No Hands Columbus, Quick St. Louis, Burbs San Philly, Thad Nashville, B Powers Buffalo, Hockey Mike Arizona, No Hands San Jose New Jersey, Mountains got Chicago, No Hands Boston, Spooky Winnipeg, No Hands Vegas, Mike Minnesota, Sponge has Flow Rider. Alright, I'll be right back and then we'll start Synergy after. Finish my one yogurt. I don't think anyone's doing any trades right now. You got a Byram, nice. Watch that yogurt. What, what am I looking for? That's awesome if it's in good condition. I, I have high hopes for Byram. I think he's going to be a really good player. He did, yeah. All right. Don't get yogurt on his cards. There will be no yogurt on cards. Yeah, he also had a nice cool save or something, didn't he? Are they playing them together, uh, Makar and Byram? No yogurt on Anaheim cards. All right, so other other teams, it's okay to get yogurt on, just just not Anaheim, correct? I want to make sure we're both clear on that.
All right, so three thirty thousand. He has a dairy condition. I heard, I heard that. Don't worry. I promise you, there's gonna be zero yogurt on these cards. Not on yours. I don't know. I, I feel it's only Anaheim. Only Anaheim right now is fair. Here we go. Thirteen thousand five hundred and fourteen. We've got the three box synergy. It's only whoever requested first, and uh, as I said, please on our furries. Oh, he asked nicely. I guess he said please, so I'll, uh, I'll accept that request. We've got for the Dallas Stars, Ty Della Andrea. Red, Dallas Stars. We've got a 449 Barkov, exceptional young stars for the Panthers. And a Roaring Twenties of Lilligren. It might add some spice to it, right? Get it on the jersey piece. Get a multicolored swatch. Might add. For the Vegas Golden Knights, Quinny. Red rookie. We've got a 749 Connor McMichael. Washington Capitals. And we got a 449 Darcy Kemper. Exceptional stars for the Coyotes. Scratch and sniff. We've got a Burden for the Winnipeg Jets. Rookie. Red. And a 9.99 Alex Ovechkin for the Capitals. Hey. Oh. Let's go. I think that was missing a card. Nashville Predators. Roman Yossi. Red. We've got a 749 for the Boston Bruins, David Pasternak, FX, and a McDavid for the Oilers, All-Star. We've got a Pasternak, red for the Bruins. We've got a 449, Exceptional Futures, for the uh, Vancouver Canucks of Michael DiPietro. And an FX of Hurdle for the Sharks. All right, so I know it's still very early in the season. Like, extremely early. What team is going to be the surprise team that makes the playoffs? And what team is going to be the surprise team that does not? Joseph Wool for the Maple Leafs. Red. FX of Jack Eichel for the Buffalo Sabres. And we've got a constant threat of Marchand for the Boston Bruins. What team are you guys calling right now as a surprise making it and the surprise not? We've got a Gretzky for the Rangers. 449, Darlene for the Sabres. And a rookie journey of Velarde for the Kings. Detroit make it. That would be a surprise. Yeah, I'll give you that one. Ottawa Senators, Brady Kachuk. Red. FX of Belzeal for the Habs. And Roaring Twenties of the Sens, Brady Kachuk. I, my side one that I was going to pick would be uh, the LA Kings. For whatever reason, I feel like the Kings actually might, uh, might get in this year. You don't think Boston will, eh? That would be a big one. Man, if Boston doesn't make the playoffs. Whew. I see he'll grab my fingers. Gets laugh for the Anaheim Ducks. If you see yoga on my fingers, I'll be concerned because I haven't even started it yet. We've got a 449 of Latang. It'd be really weird how that'd be possible. <laughs> And we've got a Bellows, $7.99 for the Islanders. We've got a Winnipeg Jets, Mark Shifley. Dallas misses. I don't know, Dallas look pretty damn good. <laughs> we've got for the Blues, $7.49, Jordan Binnington. 
Jordan Bennington. And we got a Dallas Stars, Jason Robertson, Roaring Twenties. Yeah, I don't. I do not see Dallas missing. Honestly, I don't see how they could miss at this point. We've got a Connor Ingram for the Nashville Predators. We've got for the Anaheim Ducks autograph rookie of Hackenpah. I love that guy's name. Hackenpah. Love the guy's name. And we've got for the Avalanche, Bowen Byram. 899 Rookie Journey. Bowen Byram. We've got for the Islanders, Billy Smith. Red. We've got an 899. Lafreniere, eight ninety nine rookie journey. Lafreniere, sick. And we got a roaring twenties of McDavid. Could you imagine? What do you do if you're the Oilers and you don't make the playoffs this year? Like, what can you do at this point? For the Blue Jackets, Kiv Linux. Kiv Linux. For the Blues, the 99 Bennington. 99 for the Blues. And an FX of Monaghan for the Calgary Flames. Trade McDavid. Oh boy. I don't think that's going to happen. Patcher ready for the Vegas Golden Knights. For the Oilers, eight ninety nine Wayne Gretzky. Wayne Gretzky, and we got a constant threat of Aho for the Carolina Hurricanes. Islanders, Pajot. Uh, what a pleasure! I absolutely. Here's my honest opinion: if you're doing auctions, you are definitely going to be uh, risking a lot. 749 for easy. That's why I always say don't do don't ever do auctions unless you need the money quickly. Or you just want to get money in. And all stars of Crosby. That's why I never take when when cards go for auctions, there's such a variable. I I literally, like I said, I look at Matthew's cards all the time. I see literally within one day a young gun have a $70 difference in another young gun. Morgan Geeky for the Canes. Red. FX to 349 of Makar. At least with best offer, it gives you a complete uh, control of what you want to accept. And a constant threat of Shifley for the Jets. So. That's why it blows my mind when people say, like, oh, you know, certain cards, or like the conversation we've had a million times over is like, MNT cards don't sell as much, blah, blah. And they pull up an auction. I'm like, I guarantee you I can find a Beckett auction of the exact same card that probably sold within the exact same week that is probably like completely different pricing. It just... Dubois Young going to shut up today. Interesting. We've got a Lemieux Red for the Penguins. 449 Shen for the Blues. I'm curious to see if Blind is going to go down or up in value for the hobby. And we got a 7.99 Di Pietro for the Canucks. Rookie Journey. I am curious on that one. We've got a Boston Bruins, Brad Marchand. Red. For the Capitals, John Carlson to 449. John Carlson. And a constant threat of Kucherov, Tampa Bay Lightning. We've got a Belzil for the Montreal Canadiens. First impression is down. Star Quest. That's cool. Of Carter Hart for the Philadelphia Flyers. Are the Star Quest selling well at all? Or are they not? Uh, did they not catch on? 
And we've got a rookie, or sorry, Stanley Cup journey of Wa for the Avalanche. We've got for the Dallas Stars, Kibaranta. Looks like a bit of damage on the bottom, by the way. For the Avalanche, 749 McKinnon. I always remember we were selling a card a long, long, long time ago for a customer of ours. Roaring 20s of Matthews. And I vividly remember telling him, don't do an auction, blah, blah, blah. He wanted to do an auction. It is what it is. It was an in-the-game jersey of Dominic Hasek out of nine. And I remember it went for 99 cents. Patrick Kane for the Hawks. I'm like, that's why I hate auctions. And I love him as a buyer. 749 uh, Maple Leafs, Nick Robertson. Nick Robertson. And for the Blues, Bennington to 899. Yeah, I liked uh, I liked the Star Quest back in the day. I'm just kind of curious to see if those ones are actually selling well. We've got a Guy Lafleur for the Montreal Canadiens. We've got a 9.99 rookie journey of Josh Norris for the San Jose Sharks. And constant threat of McKinnon for the Avalanche. We've got a Tampa Bay Lightning Vasilevsky. Red. Nashville Predators, Roman Yossi. And we've got a Sveshnikov Roaring 20s for the Carolina Hurricanes. we got a Nashville Predators, Pekka Rene. For the Penguins, 9.99, Sidney Crosby. Journey. And a constant threat of Stammer for the Tampa Bay Lightning. The other thing... Um, on the uh, question that you had for the auctions. I'll give you another good example. And I guarantee you anyone who's ever won an auction can tell you the same thing. There's literally a Matthews card that I won probably about a month ago. I think I won it for 225 bucks or something, okay? My max bid on that was 350. If that was a buy it now at 399 with the best offer, I probably would have offered around 300 to 350. So that's the other thing you have to consider with auctions is that you honestly have no idea what the actual highest bidder would have paid for that card. He was just the highest bidder out of the ones that bid. That's a big difference. All right, so... So, ladies and gentlemen, by the way, we have four left in superlative. The artifacts I'm going to do next and the Saturday mixer after that. Any breaks that fill basically before 4 o'clock will probably get done, guys. Um, just so you guys know, 4 o'clock is probably going to be our cutoff on most Saturdays. Uh, more so just so we can keep uh, everything going on the shipping, get everything ready for Sundays and stuff like that. But I think it's pretty reasonable from now on. So, obviously, any breaks that get filled before 4 Unless it's like really dead, and then we'll get off a little earlier, of course. Um, but just giving you guys a heads up. So keep that in mind for tonight. Obviously, we have the artifacts up next, and then we have the Saturday mixer up. But uh, if you guys want to get like the Centennial or Lumber Kings or any of those done tonight, just or today afternoon, please get it done by uh, four o'clock. Here's the honest other uh, thing, and you guys can tell me as I'm getting the next break ready, and I, I like as many opinions as possible. Do you think it's a good or bad thing if we give a timeline on all nights? If we say all breaks, any breaks filled before 11 get going. You want me to text you or are you just going to come? So what I mean by that, if, if most nights we sat there and said, hey, by uh, by 11 o'clock, any breaks that get filled, we do it. And again, we're not going to be too crazy anal on that. 
Um, I'm not exactly sitting here trying to say, guys, like, if it fills at 1103, screw you all. We're going to just go home and, like, not do it. Oh, that door's definitely going to close. Not all the way. Get some air in here. So we might we might do that again. It's it's gonna be more of a soft deadline. Just well, you know what it is. I'll, I'll tell you quickly, Keel, what it is for me. Um, is I have normally and I've told you guys this for many years. I have normally about two three hours of work to do after blog or after breaks, whatever you want to call it. So the issue that I have is when when nights go to like twelve twelve thirty. I don't literally leave here till about 2.30 or 3. So it just makes my nights a lot longer. <laughs> now, if I were to be able to leave around like 11, 11.30 off the breakers, you know, now I'm leaving around 2-ish, it's not too bad. What kind of yogurt did I eat? Well, I'm going to. I haven't done it yet, but strawberry. Source strawberry. I, like, I actually really like these ones. They're really nice. All right, good luck on the randoms. Here we go, 13,515. One, two, three. Copy, paste. One, two, three. Copy, paste. Wings got Washington, Rob's got Ottawa. Go Fishing Rangers, Fergie, Chicago, Money, Nashville. Spooky Islanders, Scott, Carolina. Sponge has Tampa. Burbaz, Boston. Blue Hat Montreal, Go Fish and Ed Money, Crispy's got Columbus, Keith Vancouver beats St. Louis, Money's got San Jose, Cootsie Philly, Burbs got Colorado, Billy's got Buffalo, Scott Vegas, Aaron's got New Jersey, TML Dallas, Bullseye Toronto, Jofa Pittsburgh, Beaumont Winnipeg, G the North has Florida, Keith has Minnesota, Terry LA, Anthony Detroit, Cootsie Anaheim, Bo Dangles has Calgary, and Daniel's got Arizona. Fruit on the bottom, yeah. Uh, our own graphic design. What are you talking about? Like on our website? If you're talking about our website, yeah. We have uh, we have someone that we have specifically for uh, that does all of our creations. She does everything quite phenomenally well. Like that monster logo she did from scratch. Pretty much almost everything on the site she does from scratch. It's honestly pretty damn impressive. But again, just to be clear, it does not mean that we're going to stop at 11. It just means any breaks fill before 11 go. So, like, if it's 11 o'clock and we have five more breaks that are sold out, we're doing them all. So, I don't care about that. It's more so at 12 o'clock or something, you know, if a break has five left and we're trying to do like, let's fill it, guys. And the problem is I feel bad if we get off at three or four left. So, it might be easier going forward, just setting a timeline and literally saying, hey guys, if it's not filled by this time, or at least very close to it, then it will go tomorrow, so people get used to that idea, hopefully. So, any, any negatives you guys see to that? You guys know I like getting honest opinions. Does anyone have anything that you sit there and go, hey, that would kind of suck, or that would be a negative to it? That you guys can see while I do artifacts. But I guess there's no uh, trades as usual. You guys know I like picking, uh, picking your brains. You guys have some awesome fascination with yogurt, don't you?
All right, I'm guessing no trade, so good luck. Here we go, starting off CNC break number 13,515. We've got the four box artifacts. All right, let's get, I'm calling a really, really, really cool redemption. That's my pick in this. Something really, really, really cool. Golden, just give me a, if you don't mind, just wait until after the break. We've got for the Coyotes, number to 65, Nick Schmaltz. Nick Schmaltz to 65. <laughs> I think I saw about five people put their hand up, so they're good. We've got a 99 for the Flyers of Couturier. Well, that's a pretty good one. I don't know if it goes exactly of what I thought, but that's pretty big. Retro rookie number one. Retro rookie number one. I feel like that's pretty big redemption. Or potentially could be pretty big. We've got for the Buffalo Sabres, Threads of Time, Robin Leonard. Robin Leonard. Nine ninety nine for the Hawks. Lucas Carlson. Or um, for the Coyotes, Phil Kessel. Orum, Phil Kessel. We've got a Korshkov for the Maple Leafs. Uh, rookie. And we've got a 3 to 9 Nikita Kucherov for the Tampa Bay Lightning. Uh, basically, since a lot of the rookies don't debut and they want to include all the rookies, they, they essentially give you a draft position number. Now, these retro ones, you don't know who they are. So it could range from anywhere from Lafreniere, Byfield, who knows. What the retro ones are going to be. But generally, like, if I get a Rangers redemption, on a normal year, a Rangers would have been uh, Lafreniere. So, you just wait. LA Kings should be Byfield. You know, Ottawa should be Stutzel. Like, Minnesota should be Kaprizov. Three ninety nine Roman Yossi. But generally, they pick the best rookie from that team, and they make a card numbered to that, uh, to that, that one, which is pretty damn cool. We've got for the Calgary Flames, Tobias Reader. Autofax, Tobias Reader. We've got a 399, Dominic Hashik for the Red Wings. Four ninety nine for the Blues, Alex Petrangelo. Three ninety nine for the Maple Leafs, Mitch Marner. Another autofax of Victor Olafson for the Buffalo Sabres. Victor Olafson, Buffalo Sabres. We've got a 299 emerald or gold rookie for the Maple Leafs, Nick Robertson. Gold rookie, Nick Robertson. And we've got a 399 Zetterberg for the Red Wings. All right. Did that one have a rookie redemption on it? I don't remember if it did. I don't think it did, did it? Yeah, solid box so far. Well, keeping the name, uh, the solid box is going. We've got a 999 Lafreniere. One of the miscut ones, it looks like. Again, I still recommend getting these ones graded, guys. 
Because when you're selling them, it at least will help out the seller know exactly what you have. But that's a nice Rangers hit. Is that, like, is it, it's weird. Because I feel like there's two versions of that card. <laughs> the miscut one and the un, uh, the regular one. Patch are ready for the Golden Knights of three ninety nine. Got some Laffy Taffy. And we got some empty nothing. Oh, well, we got a Laffy so far. Laffy ain't too bad in this. We got a four ninety nine Quinn Hughes for the Canucks. Two ninety nine for the Rangers of Panarin. I'm curious how many are like that though. For the Vancouver Canucks, an Orum of Patterson. Dude, I think we've opened four of those now, and three of the four that I've opened have been like that. So, $2.99 Wheeler for the Jets. And a $4.99 Olofsson for the Buffalo Sabres. So maybe the autograph that we got the last one, where there's two autographs that got pushed out of this one, because, yeah, this one we got. We got the Lafreniere and an Orum, but it looks like we missed... Uh, Missed a hit, so. You don't think it was like that? Okay. Yeah, I, I will. I'm still on the fan base of get them graded so that way people at least know. <laughs> We've got a Threads of Time of Ryan Miller for the Blues. Dual jersey of Kapanen Nylander for the Maple Leafs. 249, Kasperi Kapanen and Nylander. Maple Leafs. Seventy-five Matt Duchesne for the Nashville Predators. Rookie Redemption, New Jersey Devils. Three ninety nine Panarin for the Rangers. Oh, this is a good box. For the Devils, nine of ten dual patch auto. Scott Gomez. Gomez. That's pretty cool. We've got a little grin for the Maple Leafs. Uh, rookie. And finish off. Three ninety nine Vegas Golden Knights. Mark Andre Fleury. I got the one random to do, so give me one second, I'll get that one done. It's basically whoever lands on top is going to get it, guys. Three times. One, two, three. Kutsi gets the redemption. Are these sticker autos? Yes, these ones are stickers. Basically, anything before like middle of the year, they have to do stickers. There's no way they can produce the products and get uh, generally live stuff. For those that do not know the inner workings of how it works, Upper Deck basically produces these products, I would say roughly 8 to 12 months before release. Which means... Most of the stuff is already done. It's getting sent out, organized, getting made, all that fun stuff. Literally, like, almost a year before release. So there's no way possible that they could not do stickers because they have, that's the only way they could do it.
Uh, give me a second, folks. Let's get everything else organized. So, what a pleasure. Just, uh, I looked this up. I just wanted to show you quickly. Um, it's easier just to show you a picture. Literally, this is a great example right here. Two cards that ended on the same day, the exact same card, the exact same grade. Literally on auction, the exact same day. It's hilarious how the same card from the same company... Can have a what is the difference? 50, 40 bucks, whatever it is, 30 bucks, 40 bucks. So that is why I say auctions are they're great sometimes, but they're risky. That one guy obviously only got 90, the next guy got 130. That's the risk of auctions. Yeah. It generally, though, it would not be a big issue if you have a massive card. All right, and again, here is the breaks for tonight, folks. If you guys wish to get either the Panini one, the Superlative, any of those filled today, I'm more than happy to do it, guys. More than happy to do it. Um, we just need the breaks to get moving sooner or later. Superlative is probably the easiest one at four left, or that Panini one. I feel like it's a very underappreciated uh, group break right now. That Panini one is uh, $19. A $19 break for three boxes. Honestly, pretty damn fun one. All right, I'm just going to get the randoms organized here. All right, good luck. Here's the randoms. 13,512, everything three times. One, two, three. Copy, paste. One, two, three. Copy, paste. PT's got Montreal. Eric's got Nashville. Jay Chenier, Florida. Lone one, Anaheim. Pass to Chicago. Blue Hat, Pittsburgh. Rob, Calgary. Fergie, Islanders. Bridget, San Jose. Cootie, Minnesota. Keith has Colorado. L's got Dallas. Bo's got St. Louis. Eric's got LA. Jay's got Detroit. Marks has Toronto. Storm's got Carolina. PT's got Winnipeg. Webble 2, Ottawa. King's got Buffalo. Pickles has New Jersey. Captain Ed Money. Bianca's got Rangers. Mario, Vancouver. Spooky, Boston. DG's got Washington. Cheeks has Columbus. Scott, Philly. Golden, Arizona. Chris, Vegas. DB's got Tampa.
gonna go grab So I'm going to move that one down and get the brake going. Ladies and gentlemen, no trades it looks like. Alright, good luck everyone. Here we go. Here we go, starting off CNC break number 13,512. We've got the mix, uh, Saturday mixer. We've got an Andrew Jodry Young Guns for the Blue Jackets, MNT95. 9-5. We've got a 9-5 Young Guns of Adam Larson. Oh, focus, come on. 9-5 Young Guns, Adam Larson for the Devils. And a graded 9 uh, Synergy Blue Rookie of Martin Nikas for the Carolina Hurricanes. Martin Nikas. Uh, we'll do the tin next, actually. Do tin, then blaster, then hobby. Go down the line. Multiple base. We've got a young gun of Nathan Bastion for the Devils. Young guns of Bastion. Canvas for the Capitals of Backstrom. Portraits rookies of Brandstrom for the Ottawa Senators. Canvas of Lindholm for the Calgary Flames. Young Guns for the Oilers, Gaten Haas. What's up, Glock? How you doing, sir? Portraits of Eric Stahl for the Wild. We've got a glossy gold of Brandstrom. Hit me with the hues. 
Paling for the Montreal Canadiens, glossy. And a Fabro for the Preds. What's up, sir? How are you doing? All right. For the chronology box. Yeah, that'll be sweet. Sweet. Oversized Nathan McKinnon. Boop, boop, boop. Kablamo. Sick. We've got a canvas of Steen for the Blues. Uh, there are other breaks that have about three or four left. So if you guys want to uh, get those going. 1980s of coffee. If not, this might be the last break of the day. That would be nice to get that one done, to be honest. Or the other one's done. MVP of Luke Robitaille for the uh, LA Kings. Young Guns, Dougie Hamilton, Boston Bruins. I like that deal. Honestly, I think both sides did okay for what they did. Dan, Door, Shining Stars of Cronwall for the Red Wings. Canvas for the Minnesota Wild, Ryan Suter. And a Young Guns for the Wild, Charlie Coyle. Charlie Coyle. You think they both won it out? I don't know if Line A won it out of Winnipeg. Jets of Brendan Lemieux. Jan Ruta, Young Guns for the Hawks. Mark Andre Fleury, update for the Golden Knights. No touchy. Finberg for the LA Kings, Young Guns. Martin Nikas for the Carolina Hurricanes. Jesper Bratt, Marky Rookie for the Devils. Alex Nidaljovic, Young Guns for the Carolina Hurricanes. Marky Rookie of Ferguson for the Vegas Golden Knights. Jake DeBrusque, Marky Rookie for the Boston Bruins. Bergeron for the Boston Bruins. Marky Rookie of Alex Formanton for the Sens. Young Guns, Clayton Keller. Christian Jaros, Young Guns for the Sens. Portraits of Heedl for the Rangers. Ben Bishop for the Dallas Stars, Canvas. Sick! For the Nashville Predators, one of one printing plate, Craig Smith. Craig Smith.
You taking it? Yeah. For full? You just can't answer questions properly, can you? Oh. Marky Rookie of Dubois Rainbow for the Jackets. Portrait of Rowney for the Penguins. I think so. And he ain't easy to get either. Yamamoto for the Oilers portraits. Jordan Everly for the Islanders canvas. Portrait of Butcher for the Devils. Canvas for the Golden Knights, David Perron. We've got a Remy Ellie Young Guns for the Stars and Robert Hag Jersey for the Flyers. And a portrait of Nikita Sherbach for the Montreal Canadiens. All right, ice, ice, baby. We've got for the Coyotes, Christian Fisher to four ninety nine. Is he number 36? I got number 37. My God. Out of 499, still one off. Craziness. We've got a 1299 Fantenberg for the LA Kings. Gotta love it. For the Chicago Blackhawks, rookie relic jumbos, the 199 of Alex Dabrinkat. 199, Alex to bring it. Legend Sub Zero, Brett Hull for the Blues. For the Rangers, the 299 Ice Premier's Auto, Phil uh, Pedal. 299, Phil Pedal. And we've got a twelve ninety nine for the Coyotes, Nick Merkley. Nick Merkley. Synergy. got a John LeClaire for the Philadelphia Flyers. Red. 749 of Dylan Larkin for the Red Wings. Exceptional. And a 799 Bergeron for the Boston Bruins. Chicago Blackhawks, Patrick Kane. Red. Calgary Flames, 749 Monahan. Sean Monahan. And a constant threat of Mark Stone for the Golden Knights. We've got a Yolevi for the Vancouver Canucks. Red rookie. For the Avalanche cast for greatness of Makar. Cast for greatness. Makar. And we got a rookie journey of McMichael to nine and nine for the Caps. We've got a Soderstrom red rookie for the Coyotes. Seven forty nine McDavid FX for the Oilers. And a Roaring Twenties of Velarde for the LA Kings. Washington Capitals, Vanasek. Red. 
Avalanche for 49. Bowen Byram. And we got a Bo Dev for the Hawks to 999 Journey. Avalanche, Nathan McKinnon. We've got a 899 Iserman. Stanley Cup Journey. And a constant for the Rangers of Sabinishad. Anaheim Ducks gets last. Red. Calgary Flames, 449. Matthew Kachuk. And we got a Taves, 899 for the Hawks. Columbus Blue Jackets, Thurkoff. Red rookie. We've got for the Rangers, Lafreniere. $7.99 for the Rangers, Lafreniere. Beautiful. And All-Stars of Ovechkin. Damn. On a Laffy streak tonight. We've got for the Vegas Golden Knights, Peyton Krebs, it's $5.99. Jersey. Seventy-five Stam Coast, Tampa Bay Lightning. We've got a random between everyone. Emerald short print number one. Sick. That'll be a fun random between everyone. Emerald SP number one. We've got a dual jersey of Sebastian Aho to 145. And a 399 for the Anaheim Ducks, John Gibson. We've got an auto fax for the Avalanche of Nichushkin. Valerie Nichushkin. Velarde for the LA Kings, rookie to $9.99. And we got a Jari for the Penguins Gold. All right. Last box is the ultimate. One forty nine Wurinski for the Blue Jackets. For the Ottawa Senators autograph rookie of Eric Brandstrom. Brandstrom. Two ninety nine. For the Nashville Predators, Pekka Rene. Nashville Predators, Pekka Rene. And we've got for the Blue Jackets, Elvis Mers Lickens. All right, so I'm going to do the randoms. The box will go to the first spot. The, ra uh, the redemption will go to the second spot. So you guys know. So good luck. So three times on the random... And again, box goes to number one. Redemption number two, three times. One, two, three. PT gets the box. Cheeks gets the redemption. So congrats on that. Done. 
Daniel, when you sent me that uh, email about the random, was that? Did you check the giveaway section to see if it was there? No, I just checked to see if there was a video. Wow. Wow, Dan. All right, let's see where we are at now in the break. Or breaks. All right, so if you guys want Superlative, it's probably the easiest one to get going. If not, then that might be the uh, end of the afternoon, but that's up to you guys. I said I'm more than happy to get uh, Superlative or the Panini one done. Obviously, those are pretty quick and fast to get done. So I gave you guys the links. Is that Panini that 16 left? Oh, perfect, Rich. Yeah, I will uh, try to remember that. Give him a text a bit later. But I will definitely let him know if I can. Perfect. Dan, for the leaf stuff, do you still have the sale on or do we move, shift that out? list we did that remember in the beginning the uh, gamer day out soon well rich obviously COVID kind of uh, <laughs> slows down that I think people need to see that stuff to be honest in person but when uh, when we first advertised it actually moved very very well and still moves well If you guys, what's that? Or all the other ones at the sale then? No, I'll just put the regular in there and have the sale showing at the sale. Well, it's on the list, Dan. This dang guy, I tell you. So four left in superlative, folks. Unless you guys want that going tomorrow, which is more than fine by me, but I'll give it another five minutes to get going. If not, then uh, it is a tomorrow project. not then uh, that was it that was a fun afternoon some good breaks and now we'll get the breaks up for tomorrow monsters already up there there's gonna be some chancers ultimate artifacts synergy as well maybe some sba i'm gonna put up there it's gonna be a fun fun night so
Uh, Rich, that's also the one thing I kind of miss is that a lot of our customers who pick up curbside, they like, they don't really send us messages anymore. They kind of, you know, sometimes they'll make, uh, they'll tell us, but they don't really. Because a lot of customers beforehand used to open their box in our store, and it's great because you get to see what gets opened. You know, they're hyped up. Now most people, which is fine, obviously with you know curbside. Um, we had somebody get. In an ultimate box, a McDavid 99, um, fifteen sixteen ultimate. That was freaking sweet for them. Um, somebody got a Premier box. They got a Matthews 199. Uh, I'm trying to think what else was big recently. A lot of Lafreniere stuff, like Young Guns. We had one of our customers get a Lafreniere exclusive Young Gun, which is really cool. Yeah, that would be kind of cool, Golden, actually. That's a good idea. That would be an interesting idea. I will bring that up to the uh, the others and see what they think. So, ladies and gentlemen, it seems like uh, you guys are going to be waiting for tomorrow on most of the stuff, my guess is. At least it gives me some time to get everything else ready for tomorrow, which is nice. Both were miscut. Jeez. Crazy. Crazy stuff. Out of all the guys, it had to be him, eh? That's so funny. All right, well, ladies and gentlemen, again, I'm going to put up a few more breaks, including a nice chance for tomorrow. The Monster's already up there. SBA, I'm going to get some up there. Uh, and also, we have a slew of other breaks that are really fun to open up, so that'll be exciting for tomorrow. With that being said, have yourselves a beautiful rest of the Saturday evening. For those that are watching UFC, it should be a good one. Um, for those watching hockey, it's a great day of hockey. So have a good one, everyone, and see you guys tomorrow.